What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics and there's been something that's been on my mind for the last couple months and I was having a conversation with my buddy the other day and it really got me thinking about it and I thought I might make a video basically recapping our conversation and essentially I'm a little worried about CBCS which is the better grading company in my eyes. However, the list of reasons why we've all thought that CBCS had advantages over CGC has been shrinking. CBCS used to be the company that had a little bit more pros to CGC, but CGC was the industry standard, and really that was the main reason why people were going it, other than the fact that they liked the look of the books, and financially, you would get more return on a sale of a book if it was CGC. Those were always CGC's big things. CBCS had at the time, better return times. I still believe they had much fairer grading and consistent grading, much more transparency with the grader's notes. That gorgeous signature program, which is their bread and butter, and a better accounting for whether the book was a newsstand or a multi-pack or whatever. Here's the thing, though. CGC has been closing that gap, and it's catching up to all those things that CBCS used to be doing better. They now mention newsstands on every single book that is a newsstand going forward. They're mentioning multi-packs. They're even getting into the specifics, and they're going to mention if something's the zero-hour multi-pack, just for an example. That is something that CBCS always had, which was a clear advantage over CGC, which is now gone. Additionally, CBCS had a much better transparency with grader's notes. Now, CGC actually had been listening to everybody, and they have a code on the back of a book where you can just scan it with your phone, and you can get the free Grader's Notes. Yes, you did hear that right. CGC Grader's Notes are now free. So that's another advantage that CBCS used to have that CGC closed in on and leveled the playing field. Now let's talk about price. Something like nine months ago, I made the choice to send all my DC Universe UPC logo variants to CBCS because at the time, it was right before a price hike, and um, I wanted that slab with CBCS to say DC UPC variant. The only thing is, now CGC does the exact same thing. Luckily for me, when I submitted those books in, it was before the price hike, so I think for every book that gets graded, it's going to cost me like 16 bucks, which is considerably cheaper than CGC. But here's the thing. They basically cost the same now. CGC's moderns versus the same prices from CBCS for modern age books are borderline the same thing. CBCS goes into a little bit more detail and if it's like 2000s up, a little bit extra cheaper, but like 80s, 90s books, same price that you would pay to get it slab with CGC. Here's the problem with that. Let's say you have a book valued at $100. It's a 9.8, maybe it's a $100 9.8 book. The CGC book is going to sell for $100, whereas the CBCS might sell for 90 or even 80. CBCS seems to sell for about 90 to 80, sometimes even 70% of the same value as a CGC alternative. And that's because we know that CGC is the market standard. That's what it's been doing for years. Well, before it made sense because CBCS was so hilariously notably cheaper. So you, you knew that it wasn't going to sell as much as a CGC slab, but you still did it because it was nickels and dimes with CBCS versus CGC and all their price hikes. But now that they're much more similar it's hard to justify plugging into CBCS, getting that book back, and then thinking about, wow, I'm not going to be able to sell this for the same I would be with CGC. Now CBCS is targeted more for people that just want high quality with their grading, consistency with grading, and all the, the better things that CBCS still does, because I do believe there's more consistency and um, I think they're more fair, more of the time. They're harsh, but fair and consistent that I've noticed. That seems to be their main thing now. Oh, and um, I like the plastic of a CBCS slab much better. It's actually a lot more clear if you've ever held both. The CBCS slabs are like extra, extra, extra sturdy, and they're much more clear. So I still like 
the actual slab feel and look of a CBCS slab. Some people don't like the font up at the top, but whatever. It's just got me nervous because I genuinely believe CBCS is still the much better company. But we have to give credit where credit's due. And CGC, despite some really stupid things in the last two years, is actually listening. And they are capitalizing on the things that they know CBCS did better. And they're coming for that ass. This brings me to a really crucial point. One of the main reasons people go with CBCS is because of the signature verification program. Through Beckett, if you send books that have already been signed, they weren't witnessed, Beckett will see and authenticate or not authenticate if the signature is real or not, and they will slab it and you can get the yellow label. You can't do that with CGC for now. The trend with CGC is they're starting to become aware of all the things that CBCS did better. What happens one day when CGC finally gets wise and staffs up a full department dedicated to doing signature verifications just like CBCS does? What happens when CGC is going to have their own signature verification program? If CBCS continues the way they're doing, they could be in trouble. That might just be one of the nails in the crack that really hurts them. That is a lot of the deciding factor with CBCS customers. If CGC starts doing that, throwing all the benefits of the QR code, the fact that CGC now does um, list the new stands and the variants and everything, and whatever other advances they're going to be coming up with, it's starting to st make more sense to stay with CGC more than it has like a year ago. Now, in the last year and a half, I've experienced what's got to be probably more than 20 separate events that CGC has done that have pissed me off in one way or another. Things that I find unacceptable or like mistakes that really should not have happened. Mislabelings. I got someone else's book from CGC by accident. CGC really has struggled with that, whereas I don't see that side from CBCS. Now granted, CGC has been staffing more, so hopefully that'll equate to less of those issues, but we will have to see. If CGC tightens up on the stupid quality control issues and does a verification program, CBCS could be in trouble. What CBCS should be doing right now is looking at what CGC is honing in on them and start to do even more things that set them apart as being the better grading company. Quite frankly, they do have a really good product, but CGC is trying to catch up to that quality of product. I don't know, maybe lower their prices again, but with inflation, I, don't, I really don't see that happening. Maybe they're just hoping for CGC to do another price hike to alienate more uh, slabbers. That way people come back to CBCS. I don't know, that might be their best bet for the time being. They, I'm telling you, they want to be the cheaper company. Otherwise, it, it makes a lot less sense to go with them. So me as a collector and someone who's sick and tired of CGC... But now CGC is starting to do the things CBCS did. It does make me feel a little bit trapped. Let me know your thoughts down below on this. Is anybody in the same situation where I'm at where you want to go to CBCS, but CGC is starting to do all that stuff and it's, it's making almost more sense to just do CGC than CBCS? One thing CBCS does, they got that rewards program where you actually get like little tokens for every book you send in. You you get like little credits and you can put that towards more purchases and more slabbings. CGC doesn't have any sort of rewards program, which is really ridiculous for some of those people like comic shops that send like 5,000 books. There's no rewards. If you sent 5,000 books to CBCS, you can probably pay for like five or 10 free submissions after that. So CBCS has their things. It's just that they had a lot more things that were better than CGC. And that list is a lot smaller now. Part of me really just wants everybody to let go of this whole CGC thing and go on board with CBCS so that that gap of uh, the fair market value leveling out a little bit closer there. If we could get CBCS values to match that of CGC, I would tell everybody, go with CBCS. It's the better company, everything like that. But unfortunately, 
It's not, you're going to get more money out of a CGC slab than a CBCS. Also, CGC actually has a customer service department, whereas CBCS is, is really rough still after all these years, after all those complaints. That would be CBCS's saving grace if everybody would switch. But they got to entice us to all switch. If more people start going with CBCS, you're going to start to see the fair market value level out with CGC. But until then, we're trapped in this whole CGC's got a monopoly over everything thing. But at least CGC is getting better. Let me know down below. And as always, keep on hunting.